All right, so I finally got to the point where I wanted to upgrade my computer. I have an RX 580 in there right now, and I wanted to get something a little bit better. And I bought a card, and then I was realized my power supply that is in the computer is a 550 watt. It's not going to have enough power to run the new graphics card. And I am too cheap to spend another $100 and get the proper PSU. So I'm going on the cheap. I have these 12 volt server power supplies laying around. They're actually really easy to decouple. These are actually, I'm sorry, not decoupled, uh, uh, what is it, uh, degrounded um, to where now I can daisy chain these together. And all you have to do to power them up is just hook up those two pins. What is that? Pin number one, pin number four. And the server power supply will turn on. It'll give you 12.18 volts on the dot. And what I did is I soldered on the connector for the server, uh, the GPU. So I've got two of these. One here. I've already soldered this one up. And then I've got another one somewhere, somewhere right here. I need to finish stripping it and uh, solder it up to here. And then I'm going to wait until my graphics card, my new graphics card comes in. And I'm going to try this idea on my RX 580. And if it blows it up, then I will go buy another uh, PSU and you'll never see this video. So, uh, I guess now I'm just going to get back to soldering this up, and then once I'm done, I'll show you where we're at. And then the next thing would be to power up the computer with this guy hooked up to the RX 580. I did forget to mention that uh, I had to go look up the pinout on these, and so I just went to the internet and Googled GPU pinout, and this is what I found, and this is how I hooked up the wires for, for the positive and the negative. So the yellow is the positive and the blacks the negatives. Soldered those to the positive and negative and I was done. All right, now I've got my two power pins soldered up, ready to go. Got a nice long pigtail on it so that that way I can put this wherever I want. I'm just gonna stick this on top of the computer for now. and. I'm just going to run it off of a, I think, a power strip so that when I turn the computer on, this comes on at the same time as my computer power supply. Hopefully that times it correctly. I'm kind of wondering about how I'm going to do uh, off power. But one of the things I was thinking about doing is if I had, uh, I pulled, was it, a 12-volt power supply off the PSU on the computer, ran it to a 12-volt relay, and ran this to that 12-volt relay, so that when I turn the power supply on, this would close and turn this on and off at the same time. I guess that would work out pretty well. Uh, I'll do that later on once I prove this actually works and doesn't blow up my RX 580. All right, so I have finished the installation of everything and pulled the side cover off. Right now it's running off of the stock CPU, I'm sorry, G, uh, PSU, stock PSU. And this is what I'm getting right now running through these benchmarks, I took some photos, I'll pop them up in just a second. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the power supply off, hook these up, and then I will just plug these in. Let me just double check. I'm going to double check the voltage on these, even though I say plus minus on there. I'm a knucklehead sometimes, I screw things up. I'm going to double check those. Uh, and then I will stab that guy in and we'll see what happens. All right. So let's, oh, there it goes. Uh, benchmark 58.5, score 14.74. Let's go get that in. That's what the benchmark just got. What I'm curious is, does it make a difference on the power supply? So let's go ahead and turn everything off. Uh, power off, power off, power off. Why are you not powering off? We go close, 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 boom, shut off. Alright, let's unplug this guy too, because I don't want to screw something up. 
Make sure everything is powered off. All right. Then let's turn on I just double check the volts on that guy. Did I screw up? Right. Hopefully you can see that. A pow. Twelve point three volts. All right. In the correct orientation. Unplug that guy. Over here. Unplug PS power. Oh, helps if you pull the plug. Didn't realize there's a clip on there. I'm a knucklehead. Okay. Secondary power in. Contact. Ignition. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. And it works. Let's go check this out. Run, baby, run. Run benchmark. F9er. There you go. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if we can zoom up. Oh. But 9.5 10 amps. I think you can see that. Let's get a different. Uh, sorry. There you go. 8.9, 9. That's the power that card is drawing. So about, about 120 watts, which is probably what the RX 580 pulls. Waiting for it to finish running its benchmark. I don't know when it gets there. But all in all, it looks like you can run a GPU with an external server power supply. Yeah. Awesome. So now I don't have to buy a new power supply for whatever card. I can buy a power supply to run the main uh, motherboard and CPU. And now I've got 750 watts right here that I can run with uh, uh, to run my GPU. And if I needed to, I could parallel two of those up to give me 1400 watts if a GPU, GPU so required. So that's, that's just awesome. That is so awesome. And saves me a hundred bucks to or so for buying a new PSU. All right, so I downloaded a is that hardware monitor? Uh, let's go run. So I want to get a full screen. That's for sure. What's full screen? Uh, controls. Where's full screen? Benchmark camera settings. Oh, full screen's right there. Right in the center.
So it says it's pulling 140 uh, watts. Yeah, 10 amps. I'd say that's about 140 watts. Close. Let's tell it to run the benchmark. Benchmarking. Take out at 10 amps. Can you see 10 amps? Uh, you might not be able to. I mean, turn some of the sound off. Apologize. Let's go. Oh. There, 10.8 amps. 10.7 amps, 10.5 amps. Let's go look at what it's saying. What are the GPU temperatures? 82C is what I see the hottest. GPU is at 100%. Memory is at 24%, 25%. Uh, that's the cores for the computer. They're maxed out. Well, they're 3,700 megahertz. Ten point six amps, ten point five amps. They give you a voltage. Uh, all I see is one point two volts. But let's see how well this runs out. And I'm sweating too much to leave the fan off, so deal with it. I don't know how long the benchmark takes. Some were saying like 30 to 45 minutes. Definitely not going to let it run like that or record all that. But I might just let it run and then come back to it and see what I can get. Because I'm just curious to see if my benchmark is any better with the external power supply. And my amp meter finally shut off because it got tired of being on. 9.4 amps, 9.5 amps. 130 watts. Alright, well I will pause it and I will unpause it once the benchmark is done. All right, there you go. 25 FPS, score of 649, min FPS of 16.5, max FPS of 60.7. I don't remember what the last one was, so we'll have to find out what that was. And this was, the resolution was 3840 by 2146, quality high. Save. Oh, Lord. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Where's the, what's the username? Oh, well, cancel. I've got it right here.